Hello all you wonderful VR divers, thank you once again for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. This is episode 7 of my 7th guest playthrough. And in the last episode, we went through Temple's room and found a skeleton that started moving at the end of it. And in the then we listened to that and know we have to go into the library next. So, let's go ahead and head that way. But, uh, wonder if these puzzles are going to be a little bit harder. Ooh. A skull with a snake that goes into it. Frogs show up. Dead heads get wrapped. It poses. Nice. Ooh, a kabuki mask. A library with no fire, books. fire, I'm no lucky. fire, fire, no I'm fire, really fire. Oh, somebody's a clown. Ooh, what are you? So that's the first clue, a clock, and it looks like it's at 320, which means I'm guessing that has something to do with it. But let's continue looking around the room for a minute and see all the different changes. Person, creepy hand. Looks like they get snatched. Person, dead person. Forest with the rider and the horse's eyes turn red. And so does the moon. Orange turns into an eyeball. Oh, eyeballs start showing up all over the place in that one. Dirty hat, clean hat. So it basically shows the place clean. Ooh. God. Alright. Let's see what's up with this one. Ooh. That's creepy. Okay. Anything else over here? Nope. Okay, so let's head over here. Can't move the hands by themselves. Oh. Sorry, I had to fix my face mask. It was digging into my cheek. Alright, so what can I do here? Can't... No, can't grab them. Oh, I can grab them like this, though. Stay closed. I wonder if I have to move something. Nope, I can't move that anymore. Okay. Can this open? Nope. Okay, so this looks like it goes in here. Okay, there those came are. out of nowhere. But now, how to get them to their proper place? Oh, those move. Okay, that's creepy. Circle. Oh. Okay, that's cool. This goes. Oh. oh, looks like I gotta move. One move up over here. Cause this goes over here. To that. Then I'll move you down here. Move so over here, and it looks like you go down this way. 
That was a simple puzzle. Yeah. The room is back in order. Thank you. Done. The next one will be harder. Oh, it just disappeared, and she goes right into the. Ooh. Hello. These bookcases were moving by themselves. And earlier, a skeleton came alive right before my very eyes. I saw blood. Well, I was in my room getting my beauty rest. Perhaps you should do the same. All I saw was a dusty bedroom in need of cleaning service. Oh, don't look at so me. Are you the one that was in the room anything. with the scary painting? Oh, I'm bored. I'm going to the kitchen. Maybe I can find a talking skeleton that'll pour me a drop of the hard stuff. Wait. We shouldn't go walking alone. We might be in danger. If you've read anything about Mr. Stout's thoughts. Tell me you don't believe in that gossip. There's no danger. This is just a harmless little party. Even if the house was haunted, I could fend for myself. This is a game. Nothing more. One of us is going to win that prize money. I say, every man for himself. It may be a game, but only Stout knows the rules. Well, this room was rather easy. It only had one puzzle in it. And it looks like another room opened up. Oh, it looks like the kitchen opened up. Okay. Well, let's go back out here. Some party. Pathetic. Oh, there's another one. Mr. Temple, I feel there's someone else with us. Not a spirit. A seventh. Someone frightened. You have the gift. Edward refers to them as my spouse. He says I'm hysterical, but it's not my imagination. It's... Oh, my dear, I understand. More than most. But what Edward wants is... But what do you want? Maybe my gift could help people. I've always liked children. Edward and I never... I should lie down. Allow me to escort you upstairs. I will be in the... game room. Playing cards. You'd like some company. You know where to find me. I wonder how he did that trick. I wonder if you can do it in real life. And here's another thing to play. So let's hear what they have to say. Oh, I'm moving the wrong way. My honored guests, Harley on the Hudson's finest. Please feel free to use the downstairs kitchen if you're feeling a little peckish. Kitchen. And I think you'll find the upstairs game room is most entertaining. I'm in the After game room. All, you can never have too many games. <laughs> if only we could play forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, you can stop any time. That's creepy. All right. Well, that was uh, that was definitely creepy. So, in the next episode, we're going to be going into the kitchen to see what's in there, and then up to the game room where Mr. Temple is current. Well, where Mr. Mr. Temple went to play cards. But, whew, yeah, that's uh, definitely getting a little more creepy. Can't wait to see what else happens. And I just noticed that yep right there that painting is glowing and that's just a little creepy <laughs> uh but anyways 
that'll be it for this episode. So once again, thank you for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. And remember, if you enjoyed this content, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more like it. And in the description down below, there's a link to my Discord channel where if you join there, we can talk about all things VR, video games, any hobbies you might be interested in, and even maybe play some multiplayer games together. But once again, thank you for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. And remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Bacon is the best breakfast food. So eat up, stay healthy, and I'll catch you VR divers in the next episode. Oorah! Thank <laughs> you.